What's up everyone, it's Marco from PhoneDog.com and today we're going to be talking about why your iPhone 6 Plus bends. So if you've been on the internet or the social media networks or TV, you've probably seen a story about the iPhone 6 Plus bending. And a good friend of mine, Lou from Unbox Therapy, has posted a couple of videos that kind of show how easily and kind of pathetic the iPhone 6 Plus feels, especially if you can bend it with your bare hands. Now that video is completely 100% absolutely true. The iPhone 6 Plus can bend and quite easily actually. This video is really not meant to add more fuel to the fire or really to make any more conspiracies about Lou making this video of an iPhone 6 Plus bending because I'm really wanting to explain why this iPhone 6 Plus can bend and just how to avoid it. So the iPhone 6 Plus is a big sheet of aluminum and aluminum is a very soft and malleable material and malleable is a very key word there because well that means really easy to deform. Uh, you see aluminum beer cans, aluminum soda cans, uh, people make aluminum things just to be more lightweight and more flexible. Aluminum is a great material to really accept shock waves and impacts because it will deform. It doesn't just fall like a complete rock. That's why you see modern day cars actually use aluminum instead of, of an iron block and that's really for a safety precaution so instead of building up pressure inside an engine inside a faulty engine the aluminum expands and lets that pressure out and then your engine will cut off and an iron block usually just built up that pressure until basically it blew up inside so the problem with the iPhone 6 plus is it's quite a large device and it's one thin sheet of aluminum inside basically just plastic components, motherboard to battery. These things are not structures. These things are internal to the phone. They're not really like bolted onto the back of this phone. They're just inside this device and there's no metal beams inside the iPhone 6. So really there's no structure except for that external aluminum shell. And when you have such a large amount of it and a very vast amount of it, you can bend it quite easily because again, there's not that much compact things inside the iPhone 6 Plus to keep it all in order. Now the other side of the story is, should we really take it super seriously that the iPhone 6 Plus bends? Honestly, I think we're taking this way too over the top with the iPhone 6 Plus bending. I mean, again, unless you're exerting lots of force or wear really tight pants and like to, I don't know, do yoga or do somersaults every day, you're really not gonna see a lot of bending in your iPhone 6 Plus. As long as you take care of it as a relatively great device that you have in your pocket, then you should be fine. And unless you're putting a lot of force on the back of that phone and making that phone bend, you should be okay. But everyone has to accept that aluminum is a great light weight material and yes it does bend that's that's the purpose of aluminum it's a very malleable material if you wanted an iPhone to be made out of iron it would weigh about half a pound and I'm pretty sure most of you don't want to have a half a pound to one pound iPhone in your pocket every single day so take it as you want to take it here it's the iPhone 6 plus yes it's gonna bend more easily than the iPhone 6 or really any other device because well it is made out of aluminum but it's lightweight it's thin it's a great design and you should accept it for what it is we don't need to be adding more fuel to the fire in terms of the iPhone 6 Plus bend gates, it's gonna bend. You can bend a lot of things. If you had anything made out of aluminum and that kind of thin aluminum, you're gonna bend it. I could bend it. You can bend it. Anyone could bend it. So let's let's try to stop with this whole bend gate of the iPhone 6 Plus. We already know what it does. We already know how it does it. So why don't we just get all over it? I mean, seriously guys, iPhone 6 Plus bend gate, yes, it does happen. Just drop it. So again, make sure to leave a comment below. If you have an iPhone 6 Plus and you've had some bending, under a normal circumstances in terms of having it in your pocket and not exerting actual force on the iPhone 6 Plus, then maybe leave a comment or send it to my Twitter for a photo and maybe we can talk about it a little bit more. But again, my name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com. It's been the iPhone 6 Plus, Bendgate Explained, I suppose, and I'll see you guys in the next video.